Hi everyone, it's Lexi here on the October Afternoon Blog, and today I was going to show you the new Art Box Sprinklers, the new spray ink that October Afternoon has came out with. It's the basic set, and it's very cool, and you guys will like it. And seeing as if it is raining, at least in my neck of the woods today, I thought talking about sprinklers would be the perfect thing. Afterwards, I'm going to show you a little tutorial on a cool way to use your spray inks. So let's get started. I am going to say that this is my first tutorial, a video tutorial I should say, so if I completely and royally mess up and this makes no sense whatsoever, I do sincerely apologize. So here are the new spray inks. I found this little antique um, kiddo tool carrier, I think it was, so I thought it was perfect. So that's what I'm going to house my spray inks with. But the art box comes with four basic colors. These are colors that if you are new to misting, it would be great to, to try them to start off with, the colors that you're going to use that are very versatile you can use with any paper line or, or um, project that you're going to be doing. First we'll start off with buttermilk. I think you can hopefully see that. Buttermilk is a great cream color. All of the inks are opaque and I tried to use shipping tags which is something that I'm um, really totally digging lately and I don't know if you can see buttermilk but I typed up the little name and then put buttermilk on the shipping tag and I do apologize if it isn't showing up but it is a good it's a great cream color. And then we have Brown Bag, which it really is just the perfect name for this one because it is the color of a brown bag. Again, all these inks go with pretty much any line you could come up with. Here you can see Brown Bag. But I really think Brown Bag looks great with Five and Dime. It has that same color brown and Five and Dime as well. So that's a great color. Paper Doily is your white... Um, which is probably one of my most used spray inks. It's great for toning down really bright pattern papers or just adding a little something um, to your cardstock. And I guarantee you, you won't be able to see what it looks like on the shipping tag, but it is there. I promise, I promise you it's there. So that's Paper Doily. And my heart, I have to say, as much as I love Paper Doily, well, I love them all, but my heart belongs to Tintype. You guys, this is a great... Um, gray spray ink and I don't think I'm speaking at a turn when I say that the design team completely loves this gray spray ink and you can see it right there. It's great. And I'm just wondering how many more times I can say great. So, <laughs> okay, so there's that. So those are the colors that come in in the art box set. Like I said, great if you're just starting off, um, you know, into the world of misting and wanting to get tried, trying out some basic colors. There are colors that coordinate with each new line that's coming out. Um, Five and Dime has its own set that coordinates with all those papers as well as Rocket Age and the soon to be released Boarding Pass. So there's bright, you know, reds, pinks, yellows, greens, blues coming out as well. So I was just going to show you what some of the colors actually look like in addition to showing you what I like to do um, with my spray inks because I didn't think you could see maybe that the um, doily as well I thought I would spray some white on there and maybe you can see this is my spray ink box <laughs> probably pretty obvious there right so there's that shake up your spray ink a little bit and you can tell mine are already well used and loved and so we are going to spray I wanted you to see this white here it's great <laughs> again with the word great oh my word okay so there's that but what I was going to show you the technique I wanted to show you is something that I did or I have been doing with my spray ink and um, some friends have asked how I did it and at crops they would ask me so I don't think it's very like mind-blowing but I thought I would show you anyway I like to make circles with the caps of my spray ink and I really hope I'm getting this are you seeing this okay great Okay, so what, what you're going to do is you're just going to spray a little squirt into your ink cap. You're going to turn it, and you're going to let it just the ink just run to the edge. Roll it around. You might need to shake it a little bit if you want. And what would be great is if you had paper, um, you could catch those drops so as not to waste any. But here, and let me remove my box because maybe that would be better for, for you to be able to see here. But we're just going to do our circles. 
And then depending upon what your design was going to be, of course this is just some scrap paper like a card, um, if you were going to be making a layout or whatever, you could plan your design so that these would show up on the corners or you know just plan the way that they would actually show up maybe on the background or whatever. So that is just the easy way that I do ink circles. Um, and it's very, very neat to be able to do that. You can take here as a flashcard, and one I've done before, um, I've used one of these um, flashcards as actually the cover of a mini album. But it's a way to incorporate the. Now you can see why my caps to my spray inks all look like this. But run them under some water, use a baby wipe, they're good as new. Of course, the mess really doesn't bother me like that, so I'm okay with it. So here, let's do this with this. What I was going to show you is a, a, a way to use these just outside of using them as a circle is to use them to highlight something. So here we have the word school and I'm going to highlight, I hope you're seeing this, the word school. And actually I took off the S so it's, you know, not, you don't really see the S, but I think you get the idea. You can highlight numbers. Here's a number over here. And you kind of use it to highlight little elements. Also, you can use it to highlight, let's see here, a rub-on or a sticker element. You know, you have a circle and you put your little rub-on in the middle. I guess I could go ahead and do that here. Yes, I know. I, yeah, I have a rub-on tool and yet I'm using a little bit of a spray ink and see, it worked. So that's kind of fun, a fun thing as well. Okay, for the most part you can see I've, I've laid out my pattern paper. We're going to make a little card here with a shipping tag. Imagine that. So I've kind of laid out my paper as to a general idea where it might go. So I know that I'm going to make um, two to three, of course it's always better to use odd numbers, but these little paint and circle combination elements to put on the back of the card. So I'm going to take this away with an idea of how it's going to go back. Of course I'll have to sew it down because I just love to sew because I only know how to sew paper and not <laughs> fabric. So I'm going to use this to go backwards, but what I was going to show you is this is a, a stencil brush, actually. Um, it's, it's, you know, pretty dense with flat, obviously blunt. But what you do is you take a little bit of, of your ink and you make a little, turn it in a circle, so you make a little circle, kind of, little paint circle. I don't feel like scrapbooking has to be perfect, at least in my world it doesn't, so those imperfect circles are perfect to me. <clears throat> so we have that, and you can let it dry or not. I'm gonna, i got to use the tin type again, I'm telling you, I, I just, I'm warning you, you might see it a lot on my future projects. The, the paint's not dry, it's alright, we're going to put a little circle over them. And I've done that a few times on different projects. I say projects. Projects to me encompasses cards, layouts, tags. Um, and then, of course, we are going to let this dry before we reassemble our card here. And I'll take a picture of that and show it that to you on the blog after it's all said and done. But you can see how you can take paint and ink. The, the ink circles are just, they're just fun to do. You can also do it with just regular ink out of an ink pad. But spray ink just makes it more fun. Let's make a little tag here. I've really never worked backwards, so we'll we'll see how this is going to go. I'm going to do those lovely little circles again. And I really hope that you guys will do this and load up your projects in the the um, October afternoon Flickr gallery, so we can see all your little your little ink circles here. So there, that one didn't come. Let's try to make it more. There we go. There's no right or wrong way, just the way I like to scrapbook. So there's that. Let's take a little, a little rocket ship here. How cute is that? Like I said, I don't really know where I'm going with this other than <laughs> it's going to go on a card. Um, so we'll do this. And then I had one of these little chipboard, like I said, chipboard, rub-ons, little stickers, any little thing works perfect in those little circles. Hoping you are able to see this, and I didn't do this whole tutorial where you can. So I'm going to finish this card, and you'll be able to see it 
Thank you so much for joining this part of the tutorial and I hope I didn't completely confuse you. Any questions or comments? Nice ones, please. <laughs> Leave them in the comments section on the blog.